day, Aquarius. We are now on the second quarter, week one. So, to start the day right, let us first have our opening prayer. Illustrate situations that involve variations. Okay, number two, translates into variation, a statement, a relationship between two quantities given by table of values. I hope that you know what a table of values are. Letter B, mathematical equation, graph and its vice versa. Okay? Graph, gagawin equation, then equation, gagawin graph. And then, uh, simple uh, examples on how to solve problems involving variations. So, those, those are our objectives today. Okay? It comes to your mind when you hear the word variations. Ano nasa isip nyo kapag naririnig nyo yung word na variation difference po parang ganun exactly tama parang ganun pero that is correct variations ibig sabihin iba't ibang uri diba there are different kinds kapag variation variety so can you give examples okay of an application of variation sige nga saan natin ma-apply in real life yung variation Ma'am. Yes, Denise? Variety of ano po, the vaccines. Okay, that's correct. Variety of vaccine. Ano, ano ba yung mga variety ng vaccine na ino-offer in our country? Ano-anong meron, Denise? Give one. Pfizer po. Pfizer. Usually yan ang ibinibigay sa ano, sa mga ages 12 to 17. Pfizer or ano pa yung isang ibinigay sa inyo? Ibinibigay sa 12 to 17. Moderna, ma'am. Moderna. That's correct. Maricon. Okay. Tapos sa mga ado, usually ang ibinibigay ay, yes, Bia? AstraZeneca. As AstraZeneca. Okay. Ano pa? What else? Sinovac. Sinovac. That's correct. John Mark. Okay. Sa mga senior. Ano napansin nyo? Ano binibigay usually sa mga seniors? Johnson and Johnson. Yun. Yung J&J. Johnson and Johnson. Now, we're in sa seniors, kapag ka ang available vaccine is yung Johnson and Johnson, usually, uh, ano lang sila? 
first dose, uh, ano lang, uh, isang dose lang ang ibinibigay sa kanila. Okay? Not unlike on the other uh, other variations ng mga vaccine, dalawang beses ibinibigay yung vaccination. Siguro kasi uh, because of the yung lakas ng or yung tapang ng gamot, no? Na hindi kakayanin na isang turok lang. Not unlike sa J&J or yung Johnson and Johnson which is appropriate for uh, seniors, mga 60, ages 60 and above. Okay? So, these are examples of the applications of a variation, yung mga variation ng mga vaccines. Now, in mathematical term, when we say variations, let me read it to you, there are varied things around you that you should know how things are related to each other. Like how is time related to the speed of a vehicle or even as simple as relationship of the length of your arm span with your height. So, pakinggan nyo ito ha, kasi kayo ay kasama to sa performance task natin. Mag-grab kayo. Magbibigay kayo ng example ng graph on how to apply variations. Okay? So, quantities may vary directly. That is, as one quantity increases the other quantity must also increase or they may vary inversely that is if one quantity increases the other quantity decreases okay however if one quantity increases and the other decreases it shows inverse variation okay you encounter such situation in your everyday life, for instance, if walk is slowly going to school like it takes longer time, but walking fast takes a shorter time reaching the school. Your speed is wa in walking varies inversely with the time. The faster you walk, the shorter time it takes you to reach your destination. So, another situation is when your mother asks you to buy rice, which costs 55 peso a kilo. Pesos a kilo. If 1 kilo costs 55 pesos, how much 10 kilos of rice costs? So, magkano yun, class? If 1 kilo costs 55, how much 10 kilos of rice costs? Magkano yun? 550. That's correct, Jillian. So, anong ginawa natin, Jillian? Para makuha ano yung cost. Ano yung mga yung 555. Kaya ko naging 550. Very good. Okay? So, in simpler way, tinuruan kayo ng inyong mga mathematics teacher, ba? To be able to multiply a number by tens, we, what we do is to simply copy the number, which is 55, tapos ina-add natin ng kung ilan yung zero. So, since that uh, there is only one zero to ten, so just add one zero to fifty-five and that will give five hundred fifty. So, in this situation, the more kilos of rice, the more money you will pay. Hence, this is an example of a direct variation. So, situations involving three or more quantities that varies from one another may show either a joint variation or a combined variation. Now, ang tanong ko sa inyo, kung naintindihan yung aking binasa, the statement, that is statement can be seen also on your module, uh, which is posted to our Google Classroom. Pinost ko na yan kahapon. Yung WHLP ninyo at saka yung inyong uh, module, subcopies of module and WHLP. Okay? So, there are four kinds of variations when it, when it comes to mathematics. What are those? Ano yung apat na klase ng variation? Ano yun? Give one. Direct variation. Very good, Alison. So, we have a direct variation. Okay. What else? Aside from the inverse, inverse, yes, inverse variation. Sino ba na una si Jillian ba o si Princess? Okay, si Jillian and Princess. Okay, that's correct. So we have 
the inverse variation. Okay. So, we have the direct variation. Ano pa? Yes, Isabel. Combine. Join po. Ayan. So, sino nagsabi ng join? Si Maricon? Okay. Maricon. Kasi misa nagkakasabay, ano? So, let me repeat it again. So, there are four kinds or four types of a variation in in mathemat uh, in terms of mathematical uh, situation okay so we have direct variation inverse variation joint variation and we have the combined variation okay so let us first begin isa isahin natin siya let us first begin on the definition of a direct variation. Okay? I'll show you. This one can be found also on your module. Okay? Kung wala kayong hard copy, kasi online class kayo, di ba? Kung hindi kayo pinigyan ng advisor ninyo, you can uh, take a look on that. It's, it's posted already on our Google Classroom. Okay? So, we have here a table of values a graph and an equation of an example of a direct variation and they are related to one another actually okay so so i want you to observe the table of values of course we expect that on a table of values there are values of x and there are values of y okay Observe what happens to the values, okay, of x and the values of y. Observe the graph and the equation, okay. So this is an illustration of a direct variation. This means that y varies directly as x. Now tell me, class, what do you notice on the table of values. Anong napansin niyo dyan? Sa table of values natin. Dali ko din ha? Okay. What do you notice on the table of values? Yung, yung y po is even numbers. Medyo mahina yung boss. Ma'am, para po yung ano? Yes. Yung 2. Parehas uh, yung 2? Apo. Apo. What do you mean? This one? Ito, ito ba? Saka ito? Uh -huh. Okay. Aside from that, what else do you notice? What can you see on the values from left to right? Both X and Y. May napansin ba kayo? What happened yung to the values po from ano left to right? Yes, y. Alison? Yung bilang po ng Y by 2 po. Okay. So... Uh, that's correct. Yung, uh, the value of x actually increases ng 1 unit. On the values of x again, it, it, it increases in 1 unit, while the values in y increases by 2 units. Okay? Now, what else aside from that? Ano pang napansin ninyo on the table of values? What can you say on the relationship between the values of x and the values of y? Yes? Ma'am? Ma yes, uh, Leah? Ma'am, pag minultiply po sa to yung x, yung, yung sa x po, ma'am, ay yung y po yung sa Very good. Okay. When you multiply, balik tayo doon sa PowerPoint ha, okay? When you multiply actually each values of x by 2, it will give the value of y. So, tingnan natin ha, if Leah is correct, when you multiply 1 by 2, will it give a 2 answer? Tama naman, di ba? When you multiply 2 by 2, it will give 4. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 and 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. Okay? It has actually 
uh, related to the equation. Since that, the numerical coefficient on the equation is 2, we expect that the multiplier of 2 uh, of uh, values here is 2. Okay? Ano pang napansin ninyo? Meron akong gustong ano, meron akong expect na sagot. What else do you notice? What can you say between the relationship between the x and the y? What happens when the value of x increases? Ma'am? Yes, princess? Ma'am, kapag po sa increase yung sa x, increase po yung sa y. Very good. Very good, okay? When the value of x increases, okay, the value of y also increases. So, yan ang direct variation class. Okay? In direct variation, when the value of x, when the value of one quantity increases, the other value also increases. Ganun yon. Okay? So, if we're going to take a look on the graph, diba? Uh, as you notice, uh, when the value of x increases then, the graph rises then siya. The value of y also rises. Again, when the value of x rises, the value of y rises also. So, uh, we expect that on the direct variation, the graph is will form a straight line. Okay? slanted siya when you continue um, substituting the value of x to the equation the value of y will increase also into positive either positive or negative infinity so in symbol okay y over x is equivalent to k so when you substitute y here and x the outcome will serve as the value of k okay so what does k stands for on a variation k actually stands for the constant of the variation okay or constant of proportionality okay so in this case the constant of the variation is 2 so, kitang-kita naman dito, makikita natin agad kung ano ang value ng k. Kasi, the value of k is always beside the variable on a direct variation. Okay? So, they are just the same class. If you are asked to solve for the value of k, what we do is to use this formula. Divide y by x. So, tingnan natin kung tama iyan. 2 divide by 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 3 is also 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, this is really correct. K is equivalent to 2. So, ganyan lang class. Palagi ang direct variation. Okay? So, let's have another example. Again, this is taken from your module. So, you will be celebrating your 14th birthday and you want to have 14 balloons in your birthday party. The table below shows the number of balloons X and the corresponding cost is Y. So, ayan. So, it started from 2, 4 until 14. And then, in the Y, it started from 10, 20 until 70. So, as you can see, the values of x increases, the values of y also increases, kasi nga direct variation yan. Hence, the cost of the balloon varies directly to the number of balloons. Since y varies directly as x, to find the constant of the variation, what we do is to simply divide lang natin yan. It could be y sub 1 divided by x sub 1, y sub 2 divided by x sub 2. Okay? So, kahit na ano dyan, pwede natin piliin class. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Pwede rin 40 divided by 4 is 5. So, hence, on this table, the constant of the variation K is 5. And, 
to be able to transform it into equation, tingnan nyo klasa, ang ibinigay dito table, paano natin siya i-write into an equation? We simply write y equals 5, substitute, okay, k by 5, then copy the x. Parang ganito lang klas. Okay? Pag equation ang tinatanong, palaging pinapalitan lang yung value of k. So, since that k here is 5, we come up with an equation of y equals to 5 of, of 5x. Can you follow? Nakakasunod ba, Aquarius? Opo. Explain ko lang yung nasa module, okay? So, let's continue. Alright. So, let's have a statement. Number 2. Y varies directly as x. If y is equivalent to 12, when x is equivalent to 4, these are the questions. Very A. Find the constant of variation when y is 36. Then letter B. What is the equation? And then letter C. What is x? So dito class, huwag kayong malilito. Okay? Dito on the second statement. For you to answer it correctly, you have to first write the statement into equation and that will be based from the first okay from the first statement sa ating uh, what do you call this statement so asan yun? what is the first statement on the given sentence dun kasi tayo magpo-form na equation ano yung first statement on the given sentence or on the statement Pakibasa. Y varies directly as X. So, how do we write that into equation? Ito. Okay? Y varies directly as X. Y equals KX. Okay? In variation, is read as y varies directly as x. Yun ang pagbasa dyan. Okay? Pero pag sinulat natin siya into equation, isusulat nyo lang siya as y equals kx. So, here, since that, okay, we use the same variable which is y and x. So, therefore, parehas pa din ng equation ang isusulat. Okay? Nakakasunod ba? So, in number 1, if you are going to write the statement in the equation, y varies directly as x is written in the form of y equals k x ayan, kasi minsan ka sa statement pwedeng nauna yung x kung ang statement ay x ay so varies directly as k then you have to write x first x varies directly as y Ayan, kasi nga, variables are arbitrary constants. When you say arbitrary constants, it can be replaced by any letter. Halimbawa, sa statement, ang ginamit ay A and B. Okay? So, for example, the first statement is A varies directly as B. So, how do you write that into equation? A equals KB. Very good, princess. Okay? KA is equivalent to K -X, a K B A is equivalent to K ang dami kasing arte ano sa ano pwede namang siya basahin pero in variations kasi we have to read it properly like that okay para ma i-classify nyo on what kind of variation is being described so this one is read as A varies directly as B okay 
we understand Aquarius. Okay. Nakakasino. Okay. So, balik tayo dito ha. Ito kasi yung, ito yung example number 3. So, let me, uh, ay, sorry. <laughs> let me, okay. Let me delete. Kasi pag delete, delete ko na lang nga lahat, okay. Mas madali isulat yon Y is equivalent to KX. Y varies as X. Okay? So, on the presentation, how do we, okay, how do we find the constant of the variation when Y is 36? So, as I've said, you have to always begin with the equation. Okay? And then, after that, you may now proceed on the solution. Tinakpang ko lang ng ano kasi dito, pinakita na agad yung solution. So, to be able to find 4K, okay, okay, Pwede nyo i-derive yung formula from the direct variation which is y over x. Okay? So, what is y? What is y? Wait na plus ha. So, what is y on the Second statement. Anong kukunin natin dito? Yung 12 ba? Ah, uh, sa x, yung... Ah, sorry, sa y, yung 12 ba? O yung 36? Dito sa letter A. What do you think? 12 na. Oh, ayun, syempre. Ayun na, nakita, napakita ko na pala dito. Okay. So, if y is 12, ayan, and x is 4, then... To be able to find for k, we simply divide 12 by 4, which will give 3. Okay? Now, how about on this statement? Find the constant of the variation when y is 36. So, after looking or after finding for the value of k, okay, you may now write the equation. So, para makuha ang equation, we go back from the original form, which is y is equivalent to kx. Then, simply substitute k by 3. So, that's why we come up with y is equivalent to 3x. Can you follow? Can you follow, class? That is to answer what is the equation. Okay. Next. So, to continue, from the given statement, what is the value of x? Okay? So, using the equation of the variation, which is y is equivalent to 3x, for you to find for x, what we do is to simply substitute y by 36, okay, which is included, which is written on the letter A, y is 36, so, simply change y by 36 equals copy 3, then copy x. Okay? So, how do we solve for x here? We simply divide both sides by 3. Ayan, dinivide lang natin para ma-cancel. So, let me show it to you. From here, we substitute y by 36 k is 3 then x ok, para makancel yung 3 and to be able to look for x what we do is to simply divide both is by 3 ok, 3 will be cancelled therefore x is what is 36 divided by 3? 12 12 ayan, that is why we come up with a value of x which is 12 so here when the value of y increases from 12 to 36 the value of x increases also from 4 to 12 so naintindihan ba yung third example
again ha class ulitin ko ha for you to uh, solve for the unknown values on the given statement you had to do it step by step okay number one you have to uh, write the statement in two equation okay the equation will always begin from the first statement here on the, the first statement is y varies directly as x so when we write that into equation it will be equivalent to y equals kx uh, tama, y equals kx okay and then saka kayo magsusolve okay so since that in letter A you're asked to find the constant of the variation what you do here is to simply substitute okay the values to the formula of k which is y over x or pwede rin ganito pwede rin dito kayo mag solve paano yun ma'am? sige kung dito kayo magsasubstitute okay lang din naman yun y is equivalent to k x so what is the value of y again? 12 tama ba ako? 12 ayun here y is 12 Okay, and then K, just copy K, and then X is 4, ayan, after that, syempre you have to enclose it with the parenthesis, to be able to look for K, we simply divide both sides by 4, so that 4 will be cancelled, and then dividing 12 by 4 will give 3, just like on the Ayan, answer in letter A. Parehas din naman ang magiging sagot. So, you can use either y equals kx or directa na sa formula of k equals y over x. Do you understand? Naintindihan ba yung direct variation? Opo. May tanong ba sa direct variation? Basta palaging ganun ang formula natin ha y is equivalent to kx but then, the y and the x are arbitrary constant ibig sabihin ito it can be replaced by any letter okay, which is indicated on the statement given okay, kahit anong letter yan, yung k lang hindi, hindi pinapalitan sa statement kasi k stands for the variation, right? so that's for the first part of our uh, lesson to do. Now, let's go to an inverse variation. Okay? Tingnan natin yung difference nito into a direct variation. So, I have here the table of values, which is an example of an inverse variation. Here's the graph. Okay? And here is the equation. Ayan naman yung equation. Okay? So, let me read it to you. The table below shows that the number of persons working together, x, which is x, and the number of hours is y. The job is completed. Find the constant of the variation and the equation. Graph the given table of values. So, the table of values here begins, okay, sa x natin, begins from 1, 2, until 5. While the y begins from 2, 1, 2 over 3, 1 half, 2 fifth. Okay? So, this one, sa, sa, y, sa y natin, hindi lang siya nag-decrease into 1. Okay, ba? As you notice, kung mag-decrease siya ng 1, dapat ito ay 0. Negative 1. ba? Negative 2. But then, after 1, naging fractional form na siya. Okay? So, I want you to observe first the table of values. What do you notice on the uh, values from left to right sa x? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, John Mark? Ma'am, yung isa po, para maging increase kasi sa topic. Very good. Ano ang ano nag-decrease dyan, Mark? Yung baba po. Yung baba. The values of? Ano yung nasa baba? 
The values, values of y. The values of y. y. Okay? Very good, John Mark. Okay? It actually defines what an inverse in a uh, inverse variation is. Na define mo na kung ano yung inverse variation doon. Because kung sa direct variation as the value of 1 increases, the other also increases. Sa inverse naman baliktad. When one uh, one quantity increases, the other value decreases. Kung yung isa ay tumataas, yung isa ay bumababa. Okay? So, before we continue here, can you think of a situation wherein we can apply this concept? When one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. So, natin yung na-apply usually. Application nga before we continue. And one... Next week, magkakapulit ko doon. Paano? May anak ko. Mayroon na kayo doon. Okay. Wala maisip? Kanina yung, yung x nag-i-increase, yung y nag-i-increase din, direct yun. Eh, how about in inverse? Can you cite an example where in, if one quantity increases, the other decreases? Wala kayo maisip? Okay, we can apply here the speed and time. Okay? For example, you are riding on a jeepney. Okay? And then you are going to SM San Mateo. Then the yung jeepney na nasakyan ninyo is amabilis. Okay? Lahat ba ng mga jeep pare-pareha sila ng, ng oras or minuto? From your location going to SM, pare-pares ba ng number of hours yan? Hindi po. Hindi, hindi po. Hindi maka Oo, hindi sila pare-parehas, di ba? So, hindi constant yung kanilang speed. Okay? So, it could be that as the number of uh, time of speed increases, the, the number of time, ang nangyayari? nag increase ba siya? The, uh, the number of time spending from that point going to another place will be shortened, di ba? Tama ba ako, class? Habang bumibilis yung speed, okay, ng vehicle na sinakyan mo, umiikse or bumibilis, tama ba ako, umiikse yung oras ng pagpunta mo sa isang location. Okay na i-justify ko ba yung, ano, yung definition ng inverse? Habang tumataas, bumibilis yung isa. Ano naman, umiikli yung oras ng pagpunta mo into a certain location. Okay? So, that is one example of an inverse variation. As one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. Baliktad sila. Nagkocontra sila. Okay, so how do you apply that into our daily living? Sa vaccination, na-apply ba natin yan? Yung, yung inverse variation? Di ba ma-apply natin yan? What can you see? Uh, what will happen if most of us is vaccinated? What can you say on the other quantity? What, what will be the result? Lesser chance of ano po, virus. Very good. So, baliktad siya. As the number of person, as the number of vaccination increases, vaccinated person increases, the number of chances to have a COVID decreases. Okay? Hang until mawala siya. So, uh, ganun yung, I hope that you can, um, differentiate now what uh, a direct variation and an inverse variation is, okay? Yung differences nila. So, let us continue. Okay. Here's the graph of an inverse variation. Baliktad naman siya. Okay. As the number of 
values of x increases, nagdi-decrease ba yung value? Nagdi-decrease din yung value ng y pababa. Okay? So, inverse variation states that y varies inverse as x or y is inversely proportional to x. If there is non-zero constant k such that y is equivalent to k over x or x y is equivalent to k. So, can you see the difference class? Sa direct variation, ang equation will be y equals kx. Sa inverse of the variation naman, the equation should be written in this form. y is equivalent to k over x. But this one is read as y varies inversely as x. So, yan ang pagkakaiba class. Okay? The decrease of one quantity results to increase of the other quantity. So, here, if we are going to compute for the value of k, ayan, when we divide, uh, when we multiply, kasi to be able to find for the value of k, what we do is to simply multiply, multiply the value of x and the y. So, kuha tayo ng isang value dito. When we choose 2 and 1, substitute x by 1 and y by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, and then therefore k is 2. And then, when we choose 2 and 1, we substitute x by 2, and substitute y by 1, it will also give a 2 answer. Also, when we, we, when we use 3 and 2, pakita natin on a drill board. Okay? So, when we choose 2, You can write that in the other way. Pwede rin namang k is equivalent to xy or xy is equivalent to k. Okay? So, when we choose x, which is 3, and then 2 over 3, changing x by 2, and then y, ay 3 pala, sorry. Ayan, changing x by 3, and then substituting or changing y by 2 over 3. Okay, so how do you multiply whole number by a fraction? Paano tayo nagmumultiply ng whole number by a fraction? It could be multiplying the whole number to the numerator, then divide the outcome by 3, or pwede rin namang cancellation method. So, we can cancel the three trees. Ano na lang ang naiwan? K is equivalent to 2 pa rin. Ganun pa rin. When we also choose 1, half, one and 1 half, okay, are we going to have the same answer? Parehas pa rin. Okay? So, if x is 4, makita lang natin sa inyo. If x is 4 and y is 1 half, same procedure. You can simply multiply the whole number to the numerator, then divide the outcome by 2 or do the cancellation method. Okay? 4 and 2 are both divisible by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, the remaining values will be multiplied 2 multiplied by 1 is still 2. Okay? So, naintindihan ba class? Kahit na anong value ang kunin nyo doon, you will still arrive with the same answer. Can you follow? Question? Wala. Wala naman. Okay, let's continue. Kailangan kasi maintindihan nyo mabuti yan dahil meron ting performance task na gagawin. Okay? Kaya pag may tanong, itanong na ha. Let's do this. Ayan. Example 2, which can be found also on your module. If y varies inversely as as x, kulang ito, as x dapat yan. Again, if y varies inversely as x and y equal to 20 when x equals to 8, fine the constant of the variation, letter B, 
equation equation then c find y when x equals to 16 so para hindi malito isa-isahin muna natin we always begin from the equation so what is the equation class or what is the formula to be used here from the first statement tingnan ko ako na intindihan na anong formula ang gagamitin natin ma'am yes sino ba? princess or maricon ah sige si maricon naman maricon hindi yeah, ma'am Ah, sige, balik tayo kay princess. Princess? Y is equals to k over x. Very good. Okay? From the first statement. Actually, palagi namang ganun eh. Mapapalitan lang yan talaga sa variable. So, from this statement, if y varies inversely as x, isusulat natin yan as y is equivalent to k Okay, k over x. Okay, but then, we can also use the formula of k, which is, kasi yun ang unang, ano eh, tinatanong, constant of, constant of the variation. k is equivalent to x, y. So, to do that, we, what we do is to simply substitute, okay, from the statement given. x is 8, so you just change x by 8. y is 20. So, we change y to 20. Then, i-multiply nyo lang. 8 multiplied by 20 is 160. So, yan na yung letter A mo, yung constant of the variation mo. So, since nakuha mo na ang variation, it will be easy for you to write the variation into equation. So, what you do is to simply change 160 or replace 160 to k. So, ayan na. Okay. Don't mind this, kasi nakakalito lang yan. Pwede nang ito na lang. Just copy y equals changing k by 160, then over x. So, ito na yung variation of the equation nyo. Tandaan lang, class, remember that in changing or in writing the variation equation, ang pinapalitan lang natin is the value of k. Tapos, we just copy the variables included. Okay? So, since you have now the equation, it will be easy for you now to solve for y when x is 16. So, to do that, we simply continue. Okay? Copy y equals to 160 over x, changing x by 16, then divide lang. 160 divided by 16 is 10. So, therefore, as the value of x increases from 8, kasi yun ang starter, starting value, to 16, the value of y decreases from 20 to 10. So, that's the answer. Question? May tanong ba? Questions? Wala. Silence means no. How about the others? You're not responding. Magtanong lang ha kung may tanong. So far, wala naman. Okay. So, let, let me continue. So, here is the uh, summary of the difference between the direct and the inverse variation bago tayo magtuloy sa other two types of variation. Okay. Magkakaroon muna tayo ng activity. But before that, here is the summary. On the direct variation, the statement is always in this form. Y varies directly as x. Okay? To compute for the constant of the variation, we use this formula. K is equivalent to y over x. And the equation of the variation will always be written in this form. Y is equivalent to kx. If there is an inverse variation, the statement is in this form. Y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. Thus, to be able to compute for the constant of the variation, what we do is to simply substitute the values to x, y equals k. 
or just simply multiply the value of x by y. And the equation will be always written in the form of y equals kx. Okay? So, screenshot nyo na lang yan, though, nasa PowerPoint presentation naman yan, which will be posted also. This one will be posted to our Google Classroom. Okay, let's have a drill first. This one is posted to our Google Classroom. Okay, for the meantime, I want you to use your ball pen and your paper. Complete the table. I'm giving you 20 minutes to do this. Tapos, so, these are the answers. One point per correct answer. On the column of Y, the answer is 80. Okay, then X column, you have 6 and 6. Then the values of K are 6, 3, 2. Tapos sa equation, Y is equivalent to 6X. Then Y is equivalent to 10X. Okay. So, here, may tanong ba kayo, class, on how to do this? How, okay. So, all in all, it will be 2, 4, 6, 8 points all in all. So, how many got 8? Tignan ko nga. How many got 8? Ako, ma'am. Wala ko reason. Okay. May, may question on how to do it? Pakita ko ulit yung answer, ha? Actually, madali lang siyang kunin yung sagot from the table. For you to get the value of K, all you need to do is to divide 30 by 5, and that will give 6. So, since that the value of K is 6, ang equation niya will be Y is equivalent to change K by 6. Okay? Now, in number 2, to be able to solve for Y, you first uh, begin on the equation. So, i-multiply lang natin. Y is equivalent to KX. So, K is 10 and X is 8. So, 8 multiplied by 10 is 80. Then, from the table, you can get the value of K. Kaya, Y is equivalent to 10X. Okay? Here in number 3, you begin with the given equation. So, since that the equation is Y equals 3X, you can easily identify the value of k which is 3. So, since meron ka ng k at saka y, para makuha mo ang x, i-divide mo lang yung y by k. So, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay? Then, for the last, same with the letter a, ah, sorry, with number 3, identify muna yung value ng k which is 2. Then, to solve for x, paano natin nakuha ang x? I-divide nyo muna. Okay? I-divide ang 72 by 2. So, that will give 36. Since may square doon, so you need to get the square root of 36, which will give 6. Okay? Question? May tanong ba? Mom, po kayo 36 Yes, Maricon, question. Naka-unmit na ko. Kasi po kani, it's a letter X ko po, is 36. Ah, it should be 6. Kasi may square, diba? Pakita ko sa inyo, ha? So, na yan. Plus, medyo mag-overtime tayo, ha? Kasi 9.50 na. Okay lang ba sa inyo? Siguro mga 10.30 tayo matatapos. Okay. 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 Pag mali po ba yun sa ano? Pag may isang mali po dun sa isang row, mali na po ba lahat? Hindi. Hindi naman. Basta one point per correct answer. So, explain ko sa inyo yung number... Asa na yun? Ay, sorry. Ito, yung number... 4. Y is equivalent to 2 X is squared. Y is equivalent to... 2 X is squared. Okay, ano yung value natin dito? 2x squared. y is 72 ang given. Change y by 72. Kasi yan lang yung given, ba Sa table. Here. 
Ito lang ang given at saka ito. So, syempre, you begin on the equation which is this one. Y is equivalent to 2x squared. Yan. So, just copy 2x squared. Then, para makuha ang x, you need to first divide both sides by 2 to be able to eliminate the numerical coefficient of 2. So, what is 72 divided by 2? It will give 36. Then, the remaining value here is x squared. Since there is an exponent of 2, the technique is to uh, get the square root of the other side. Kasi chine-change natin yan. Yun na lang ang pinaka-shortcut. Pero, the proper way to do to do it is by raising both sides by the reciprocal of the exponent which is 1 half. Para nakakancel ito, then kasi ito ang next topic pa natin to eh. Yung integral exponents. It will be like this. Okay? And then, changing fractional exponent into radical form, it will give square root of 36 then you have to think of a number which when multiplied by itself will be 36. And what is that? What is that class? 6. Kaya ang value ng x natin dito ay 6. Ayan. Okay? Then, it will be easy for you to determine naman the the k. Kung ano yung katabing x, yun, yun ay automatic na value ng k. Do you understand? Do you understand? May questions? Questions? Wala. Wala naman. Okay. So, yung score ninyo is 8 out of 8. Score out of 8. Picturean nyo yan. Yun ang iti-turn in nyo dito. Sa na yun? Shinare ko na siya sa inyo. I-turn in nyo dito sa learning task 1. Okay? Mamaya yung learning task 2 natin. Right? So, if no questions, into direct and inverse variation, let's now proceed to the other two types, which is the joint variation. Okay? So, anong kaibahan ng joint variation? Actually, from the name itself, joint, we expect that there will be more than one or more than two quantities involved. Kasi sa, on the direct variation, there will be two quantities being compared. Also, on the inverse variation, dalawang quantities lang ang kino-compare natin. Now, on the joint variation, we expect here to have more than two variables. So, pwedeng three pataas ang variables na involved dito. Okay? So, let me read it to you. If the ratio of one quantity to the product of the other two quantities is constant, they vary jointly. That is, if y varies jointly as x and z, then the formula will be y is equivalent to kz. Okay? So, what do you notice here? What do you notice here, class? Ano napansin ninyo on the formula of a joint variation? Nadagdag na letter. Nadag that's correct nadagdaga ng letter. Kasi on the direct variation, isa lang ang katabi ni K. Isang letter lang ang katabi ni K, which is the X. Here, there will be an added quantity in bold. Okay? Kaya nagkaroon na ng katabi yung K na dalawang variables. Okay? So, that's the difference between the direct and the joint variation. But they have the same operation, which is multiplication. Thus, to be able to solve for k, we use this formula, y over or y divide by x multiplied to z. So, let's have this example. If m varies jointly as p and q and m equals 50, when p is 5 and q is 2, find m when p is 10 and q is 6. Ano napansin nyo, class? Parang medyo ano, di ba? Medyo parang nakakalito kasi ang daming statement na ibinigay. So, again, for you not to be mistaken, 
you always begin on the first statement. Kailangan muna isulat nyo siya into equation. So, how do we write M varies jointly as P and Q? Ito yun. Okay, to write that into equation means M equals K P Q. Ang tamang pagbasa dyan ay M varies jointly as P Q Eh, P, P and Q, sorry, hanggang dito, period. M varies jointly as P and Q. Okay, so after that, saka kayo pumunta doon sa next statement. Okay, so letter A, how do we solve for the constant of the variation? Then, that's the, that's the time you now get the next statement. Okay, so to solve for K, pwede natin gamitin itong formula na to. Yung kanina, ito. Or kaya, para hindi kayo malito, we can simply, ito itong formula na to, or you can simply base it here from the original equation. Okay? So, change M by 50. Copy K. Change P by 5, which is, ayan, which can be, uh, sh which is shown on the solution. And then, change Q by 2. So, it becomes P equals K multiplied by 5 times 2. Then, bring down 50 equals multiply 5 by 2 and that will give 10. 10 multiplied by K is 10K. So, para matanggal ang 10 beside K, what we do is to divide both sides by 10. So, 10, by, 10 divided by 10 is 1 or cancelled so, what is left here is K. 50 divided by 10 is 5. That is why K is 5. Okay? Nakuha ba yung pagkuha ng K? Question on the value of K? Yes, Maricon. Medyo lakas na kang boses. Pwede mo pa rin. Ulitin. Ano pwede? Kasi... Ah, sige, sige. Not mute, please. Okay. So, again, to solve for the constant of the variation, unahin muna ang statement. First statement. Gawing equation. Okay? So, to change M varies jointly as P and Q, we can write that as M equals pag varies, that stands for K, jointly as P and Q. So, imumultiply lang natin. Parang direct variation na dagdagan lang siya. After that, you go now to the next statement which is M equals 50 and P equals 5. Okay? So, Q equals 2. Kasama yon. M equals 50 when P equals 5 and Q equals 2. So, changing M by 50 Copy K. Change P by 5. Okay. Change Q by 2. Then solve. Okay. Bring down 50. Multiply 5 by 2 which is 10. 10 multiplied by K is 10K. Kaya naging 10K ito. Then to eliminate the 10, dividing bosses by, by 10. 10 will be cancelled. Kaya naging K na lang yan. 50 divided by 10 is 5. Do you understand? Hindi po. Hindi pa rin maintindihan. Okay. Na, nalilito po ako. Sorry. Ah, sige. M equals K PQ Change natin siya into equation kasi ang tamang pagbasa dyan is Y varies jointly, pinagsama sila, as P and Q. Pag ginawa natin siyang equation. Then you go to the next statement. Okay? To, to solve for the constant of the variation, you proceed to the next statement. So, M is 50. Papalitan nyo lang yung M ng 50. Copy K. Change P by 5.
Q is 2. Then bring down 50. Bring down K. 5 times 2 is 10. Multiply K by 10. So that gives 10K. Kasi sinusulat natin muna yung numerical coefficient before the variable. Then, to eliminate 10, dividing both sides by 10, para matanggal yung 10. Ay, sorry. Okay. Hindi na magsulat kasi here. Okay. Ayan. Dividing both sides by 10. 10 will be cancelled. Therefore, K is, what is 50 divided by 10? Five. Ayan. Kaya naging 5 yung sagot dito. Do you understand? Yes. Naintindihan na ba? Naintindihan na is Sky? Apo ma'am. Thank okay. you po. So, let's continue on letter B. How do we solve for M? Kasi yun ang tinatanong dito sa last part. Find M when P is 10 and Q is 6. Okay? So, wag malilito. Ito naman na magiging value ng P at saka yun na magiging value ng 6. Okay? So, just copy the original equation which is M equals Q, K, P, Q. Parehas lang yan. Okay? Change K by 5 which is the constant of the variation. Change P by the second value of P which is 10. Change Q by 6. Tapos, multiply lang natin. So, 5 multiplied by 10. What is 5 multiplied by 10? 50 multiplied by 6. 300. Ayan. That is why M is equivalent to 30. So, that's how to solve this statement. So, this one is an example of a joint variation. Para siyang direct variation, parehas din din ang procedure nadagdagan lang ng isang variable. Do you understand? Apo. Okay. So, let's now proceed to combined variation. Kasi parehas din naman ang direct variation yung joint. Kaya, isa lang yung pinili kong example. Okay. So, from the name itself, combined variation, ano yung expect nyo here? What do you expect here? Pagka-combined variation. It's a combination between it's actually a combination of direct, direct and inverse. Oh, yes. Direct. Meron na rin dyan. Pwede rin siyang joint variation. Pwede rin inverse variation. Tinagsama-sama na here. Okay. Meron siyang products sa taas. Tapos meron din siyang i-divide. Okay. So, let's have the example. Okay. Combined variation. This is a variation where one quantity varies directly to other quantity and inversely to the other quantity. Okay? The equation V equals KW over Z means, ang tamang pagbasa rito ay, V varies directly as W and inversely as C. Nahiwalay ito. Dapat yung karugtong doon. Again, this one ito is read as V varies directly as W and inversely as Z. Naintindihan? Okay? Sige nga, I want you to read this. How do you read this? For example, the given is A equals KB over C. How do you read this? Ma'am. Who wants to read? Yes. Who wants to read? Ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, princess. A varies directly as B and inversely as C. Very good. Okay. Very good, princess. Y varies directly as B and inversely as C. Okay. Kahit nagdagan nyo pa yan ng letter. Halimbawa, ganito. K, B, C. Tapos, dito merong D. 
Ayan. So, how do you read this? Pagka ganyan. How do you read that? Ma'am? Yes, princess again. A varies directly as B and C and inversely as D. Okay, that's correct. Okay? A varies directly as B and C and inversely as D. So, ayan yung pagsa-combine. Okay? Na mention yung both direct at saka yung inverse kapag ka-combine. Okay? So, let's have this example. V varies inversely as D. Ah, sorry. V varies inversely to X and directly to, to W if V equals 12 when X equals 4 and W is 8 find W when V is 24 and X is 2. So again, ito na naman tayo. Pag tinignan mo siya ang daming values. So for you not to be mistaken, you always begin on the original equation. Doon muna kayo sa first statement. Okay? So, pag sinulat natin yung into equation, it will be like this. V varies inversely as x. So, ilalagay nyo kasi inversely. Yung dinamit na una. Ilalagay nyo pag inversely sa baba yung x and directly as w. Pwede rin kasi iyan. Pwede rin kasi itong basahin as V varies directly as W and inversely to X. Pwede nga nun. E dito, binaliktad siya. So, don't be mistaken if uh, there are cases talaga na like that na uuna yung inversely pero basta na-mention yung inversely, ilalagay nyo siya agad sa baba. Okay? So, when we write this into equation, it will be V equals KW all over X. Okay? So, after that, you may now start solving. So, for letter A, you're asked to solve for the constant of the variation. So, to do that, dun muna kayo sa next statement. If V is 12, when K is 4, and W is 8, okay, wag muna nyo tong I gamitin. So, change B by 12. Okay, copy K. Then, change W by 8, then x by 4. Ayan. So, to solve this, the first thing to do is to divide muna 8 by 4. So, copy 12. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then, to eliminate the 2, divide both sides by 2. 2 will be cancelled. 6 divided by 2 is 6. Nakuha nyo ba yun? K is equivalent to 6. Naintindihan ba yung value ng K? Okay. Okay. So, after solving for the value of K, that's the time you may now go to the last part. Find W when V is 24 and X is 2. Okay? So, again, just like on the example of the joint variation, kukopihin nyo lang uli yung original equation, which is B is equivalent to KW over X then changing the next value. If V is 24, so change V by 24 equals, since you had now the value of K which is 6, so palitan natin ang K ng 6, then you are asked to solve for W, so just copy W all over the value of X which is 2. Ayan. Okay, to, to solve for the W, the value of W, just divide 6 by 2 and that will give 3, then copy 24 so to get W divide both sides by 3 so 3 W divided by 3 will be cancelled 24 divided by 3 is 8 so ayan W is equivalent to 8 do you understand? naintindihan ba class? Oh, ano po ma'am ask ko lang po sa isang sa isang ano po uh, sasagutan namin. Dalawa po ba yung isosolve namin? Uh, yes, very good question. It will depend on the given statement. Kasi dun sa statement na yun, um, you are asked to solve for the dito, pakita ko sa inyo. Okay, you are asked to solve for the W. Okay, syempre, para makuha mo yung W, 
you need to first solve for the value of k. Okay? So, to solve for the value of k, mag start ka palagi sa original equation. Tapos, yung ipang sa substitute mo, yung next statement to solve for the value of k. Nasagot ko ba yung tanong? Paano po ulit? Um, you always begin on the first statement. Okay? To be able to write the equation. Okay? So, may three steps tayo. Again, you have to first um, write the statement into equation. That's the first. Then, number two, solve for the value of k. And then, number three, solve for the unknown value. Okay? So, yun yung three steps natin. Which is the same exam... Uh, steps on the example given sa joint variation. So, may tanong ba? Questions? Wala na po. Are you sure? Ayan. Ito yung nasa weekly home learning plan ninyo. Okay. You are asked to supply again the missing value here. Tapos, ito din yung learning task 3, pinikturan ko. Pero, kasama yan sa weekly home learning plan. Nakasama din yan doon sa inyong... Ito, sa Google Classroom. Okay? Siyempre, para mabawas, mabawasan ng inyong task. Kasi, yung written work ninyo, gagawin ninyo na yan ng asynchronous later. Okay? So, para ma-check natin right away... You are given, extend na lang tayo ng konti sa ng oras. So, you are given 20 minutes kasi yan nakalagay dito. O, 20 minutes to answer this. For, for learning task, madali lang to. You just identify if this is direct, inverse, joint, or combined. Here, you're going to supply the missing value. Okay? So, tingnan ko kung naintindihan ang joint at saka ang combined variation. So, bawasan ko to ng minutes ha. Um, mga 15 minutes lang. So, we can check it at 10.27. The missing is K, which is 2, 1.42, 1.4 the equation, which is Y equals 2XZ. Number 2, X is 10, K is 2, 3, Y is 192, equation is Y equals 4XZ. Number 4, Z is 2, K is 3. Number 5, X is 16 over 3. Pwede rin decimal form. 5 point something. Pwede 5 point something. Then letter K, 3 over 4. So this one is 10 out of 10. Yes? Sino yung may tanong? Question? Sa so last. So okay, tingnan natin so yung last. Number five. Okay, so this ano one. Oh, oh, yes. Since the given is y equals 3 over 4 x, y, madali na natin maika-classify or mag makukuha yung value ng k, which is 3 over 4. So, to solve for x, okay, tingnan natin. Okay, so just copy y equals... 3 over 4 x ay, sorry so, x y ano ano yung mga given natin sa number 5 48 is y I'm sorry, 48 y so, to change nyo yung y by 48 equals 3 over 4. What is y? What is the value of y? Ano yung value ng y here? 48 po.
change y by itlang klas talaga ano yung aking internet umabagal so yan y is 48 copy 3 over 4 tapos copy x then change y by 12 yan ok so to continue just bring down 48 Pwede i-cancel ang 4 at ang 12. They are both divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay. And then multiply 3 by 3. That will give 9x to solve for x. Okay. Or to eliminate 9. Divide both sides by 9. So 9 will be cancelled. 48 and 9 um hindi exact yung sagot. So, you can write your answer in two ways. Pwede siyang, in proper fraction, pwede rin siyang decimal form. 48 and 9 are both divisible by na, by 3. So, 48 divided by 3, pwede i-divide yan by 3. Okay. 48 divided by 3 is 16. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, ayun yung value ng x mo. Okay. Pwede rin i-divide. Pwede rin siyang decimal form. So, when you divide 16 by 3, it will give 5.33 ata yan eh. Continuous yung 333. Okay. Parang ganyan. So, you can write your answer in either fractional form or decimal form. Okay. A question pa sa number 5. May question pa? Wala na. So, let's proceed to letter B. Okay. So, this one, i-identify lang natin if this is direct, inverse, joint, or combined. So, obviously, number 1 is direct. Number 2 is? What is number 2? Joint. joint. Very good. So, that is joint variation. Number 3 is? Combined. Combine ba? Number 3 is? Inverse. Inverse. Kasi isa lang yung variable sa taas, di ba? Kaya hindi siya combined. Di ba? Aside from K, isa lang yung katabi niya. So, inverse variation. Number 4 is? Joint variation. Paano naging joint yan? Paano naging joint class? ilalagay nyo si B dito. Okay? So, to do that, it will be So, that will be A over B is equivalent to K C. So, pwede nyo itong ilagay yung B doon. Cross products it will be A is equivalent to K, C, B. Ayan. So, meron kang more than one variable na katabi ni K. So, that is joint variation. And then, number five is how about number five? What will happen to M N equals K, P, Q. You can either select M or N. So, halimbawa, chinus, pinili niyo yung M ang maiiwan sa kaliwa. So, N will be cancelled. Magiging it would be M is equivalent to K PQ over N. So, obviously, number 5 is combined. Kasi meron kang more than 2 variables at the numerator and then there is another um variable at the denominator. So, may inverse ka. Inverse variation. So, number 5 is combined variation. Okay? So, ayan yung mga task natin today. When you combine learning task number 1 and learning Ma task... Ma'am, sa number 5, ma'am? Nasa na ba yun? Ito, number 5. Ano ba isa lang? Hey, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Combine. Okay? Combine. Okay.
Okay, so pag, sinab pag pinagsama niyo yung learning task 1, learning task 2, learning task 3, sa ating Google Classroom, it will be all in all. Ay, sorry. Mali ako ng bukas. Aquarius. All in all, magiging 28. That's only for today. Every good gift, remember this, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. So, ano yan, uh, ganyan tayo ka, uh, kamahal ni Lord that lahat ng mga bagay na nakikita natin na magaganda, perfect gift, lagi yan galing kay Lord. So, yung mga, mga, mga pangit na bagay, though inaalaw ni Lord, pero hindi yan ang gagaling kay, kay God, okay? Yung mga masasakit or yung mga uh, mga uh, hindi magagandang bagay na nararanasan ay hindi yan galing kay Lord, okay? Yan ay minanako sa atin ng kaaway natin yung mga nangyayari sa atin. God allow, allow things to happen for a reason. Maybe God is uh, molding us. Diba? Minamold niya tayo for us to be a better person. Okay? Para maging maayos tayo sa paningin ng tao at syempre sa paningin ng ni Lord. Okay? So have a great day and God bless everyone.